Ole Gunnar Solskjaer rightly deserved the Manchester United job when he was given it after a sensational opening three months as United's interim manager. But what is next for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Now that he's got the job full time, how does the job change? What does he need to do to achieve success now? Gary Neville has had his say on what he feels Solskjaer needs at United for success to be achieved. From everything in the current squad to the backroom setup and the upcoming summer transfer window. So what we're going to do today is run through all of Gary Neville's comments together. I want to know what you think in the comments below as always. But before we get started, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a regular, make sure you drop a like on the video. But let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing that Gary had to discuss was United's setup as a club behind the scenes and how he feels changes absolutely have to happen there for any chance of real success under Solskjaer. I don't agree with the sort of feeling that, you know, the hard work starts now because the hard work was to get the job in the first place. But what I would say is, is that the real body of work starts now because he's now got to deal with the recruitment side of things. He and I have struggled in that department in the last couple of years. I think he does. there does need to be that sort of... Um, that, that gap in knowledge between the manager and the boardroom in terms of the recruitment side of things needs filling for Manchester United. I've said before, they need the best in class recruitment and, uh, and technical side uh, in behind the manager, else it will continue to fail. And So many fans have been banging on this drum for so long, but now is the time where it has to be done. United need a technical director because without one, I don't fully, truly think will change. I think in a few years time, we may end up sacking Solskjaer and bringing in somebody else because it didn't work again. The changes have to be true and proper this time. And that started with Solskjaer, but absolutely we do need a technical director. We need to have somebody who works between Ed Woodward at the board level and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as the manager who understands Manchester United and understands the vision of the club so that every single decision that is made is made not only from a footballing sense, because lo and behold, we're a football club first, but also ties into the vision of the club. You know, you look at Ajax, you look at Bayern Munich, are two main examples of this. Clubs that are built from within, ex-players, ambassadors, all from within. And now we've got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as our manager, that's a step in the right direction. Because it didn't work with Moyes, it didn't work with Van Gaal, and it certainly didn't work with Mourinho. But with Solskjaer in charge, we've got somebody with, whose blood of the club runs through his veins. And it's got us this far but it won't get us to the Premier League or the Champions League unless a miracle happens this year. And it won't happen unless we have that person, that technical director to work between Woodward and Solskjaer to bridge that gap. I don't think, I think Gary Neville's personally right here. I don't think success can ever be truly achieved at United without that appointment. Because as Gary rightly points out, it's not as if United haven't spent money since Sir Alex retired. You know, over the last six, seven years, Manchester United have put £700 million into that squad and they're still falling well short of where Liverpool and City are at the moment in terms of winning titles. In fact, they're you know, 16, 17, 18 points behind. So what you've got to look at is how Manchester United bridge that gap. And they're going to need to bridge that gap through, yes, the spirit that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has created, but they have to get better players on the pitch that can compete with Liverpool and Manchester City to go along with some of the very good players that they've already got. You can spend all the money in the world, but if you're buying the wrong things, you won't get the right outcome. It's as simple as that. Di Maria, Sanchez, Mkhitaryan, Schneidlin, Memphis. The list is quite long of players that we've signed since Sir Alex retired that just haven't worked. Over 700 million in the transfer window. It's time for United to buy smart more than anything else. And that means not having Ed Woodward as the man making those decisions. Somebody who's more driven by marquee signings and blockbuster names than anything else than buying a player who properly ties into the vision and style that is being built at a football club. United have been downright reckless in the transfer market since Fergie retired. And we need a smart mind to take control of that part of the club. Because the club's such a behemoth now that every aspect of it can't be controlled by one man like Fergie used to. And the transfer side of it in itself is one of the biggest single issues we have. And that can't be resolved by Solskjaer and Zone. It certainly can't be resolved by Woodward. He's helped create the problem 
It needs to be resolved by that technical director coming in and taking complete control of it. Because if somebody doesn't do that, the gap between United and City and Liverpool will only widen further. But what should United be doing in the summer transfer window that's coming up? Gary feels that in an ideal world, Solskjaer will be involved in 12 deals in terms of players signing new contracts, players being bought and players being sold. And they've got a big, big job. There's four or five players that he'll want to keep that are out of contract that he needs to tie down. There are four or five players that he'll need to bring in and there are probably four or five players that he needs to get out. So if you think about that in terms of the job over the next two, three months, you've got probably 12 live situations. Four players, we need to sign on contracts. Four players, we need to get into the club and four players, we need to get out for the most money possible. And that needs a good wheeler dealer behind the scenes, someone who can sort of, if you like, manage that situation. At the moment, Manchester United haven't been brilliant at that in the last few years. So I think that's the big job and that's not his job, but it'll, it'll determine the outcome of his success. Now, if we're looking at new contracts, the first name on the list is obviously David De Gea. With what's going on with Ander Herrera, who's apparently agreed terms with PSG and Juan Mata, who apparently might be on the way to Barcelona, there is a fear among United fans that David De Gea could follow his Spaniards out of the club. And we can't let that happen. We don't have that many world-class players at this club. Yes, De Gea's had a poor season so far in comparison to how good he's been, but he needs to be tied down to a new deal. His current one expires next summer. Then you've got Marcus Rashford. His deal expires next summer. Solskjaer will absolutely want to get him tied down to a new deal as well. And as I said, Mata and Herrera, question marks over those two. Andres Pereira, his deal runs out. Antonio Valencia, he's going to be let go on a free. There's plenty of contracts that need to be negotiated. But in terms of new signings as well, it's clear what United need. One dominant centre-back one new fullback, one new right winger, and one dominant defensive midfielder. And maybe in an ideal world, you get another centre-back there. So five in total. But given that we're just given new contracts to Jones and Smalling, hmm, maybe that won't happen. But it's clear we need those four main signings. And then if you're looking at player sales, I think some of these are abundantly obvious as well. And it's not just because he played shit against Wolves. Ashley Young has to be one of the first names out. We can't have a 30-year-old plus converted right winger as our captain and right back. It doesn't work. It won't ever work. Alexis Sanchez, a player who just hasn't worked at United. Get rid of him, get rid of his wages and bring the proper wage structure back to United that is causing torment with Ander Herrera and Juan Mata. And then you've got Matteo Darmian. He should be sold. Antonio Valencia. He's going to be leaving on a free. Marcus Rojo, he absolutely needs to be sold. And I'd probably sell Nemanja Matic as well. So maybe more than 12 deals overall. But what you can see is it's going to be a tremendously busy summer for United. And maybe too much to do in one single transfer window. But it goes to show that if Solskjaer is there planning pre-season and everything he's doing as a football manager, how is he supposed to manage all of the transfers as well at the same time? That shouldn't be Woodward's responsibility. He's not good at that part of the job. It can't be Solskjaer's because he can't do it all. It needs that technical director. And selling those players who aren't good enough to play for United anymore is just as important as bringing in the right signings. Because, say for example, Pep Guardiola went into Man City and he had Chris Smalling, Ashley Young, Phil Jones, Matteo Darmian. Do you think they would still be at the club a few years later? Absolutely not. It's like Joe Hart, Pablo Zabaleta and Gail Clichy, boof, out of the club straight away. Not good enough to play for me. Guardiola was ruthless and then he won the title. United need to be ruthless. It won't be pretty at certain points, but we, fuck it. If we're truly ambitious to win the Premier League again, we have to have a more ruthless streak in the transfer window, both in terms of paying the right money to get the right players in and selling the wrong players that shouldn't be at the club anymore. But as I said, I don't feel that Solskjaer can get that success without the right setup behind him. And that's the final point that Neville had to make. I think it's critical for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He has that support financially. He has the support in resource to be able to do that job and then allow him to do his job without the sort of what would be, not excuses, but you know, good reason why he maybe could be struggling to catch up these two clubs that are at the top at the moment. Again, Gary is on the money here. 
United made the right appointment in bringing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in as our full-term manager. After what he did, it was inevitable. There's a real buzz back among the fans about Solskjaer in charge. And having three losses in four games just sort of cements how incredible his first three months were. That he achieved what he has achieved so far. But to achieve more, to achieve what we really want to achieve, the Premier League back at the Champions League, pinnacle of European football. We need new signings. So Solskjaer has to be backed in the summer transfer window properly. And we need the setup of the club to complement that. We can't not change behind the scenes and expect change to happen on the pitch completely. It's not going to work like that. United as a club are years behind others. Years ahead of others in terms of commercial senses, but we've been saying that for some time. But everything has to tie in now. The first right decision was bringing Solskjaer in, but there's plenty more that the club has to do between now and the start of next season if we're really going to achieve under Solskjaer. Now I'm praying that Solskjaer's reign is the time where United properly turn it around, that we put the post-Fergie slump behind us and we really kick on and challenge for the Premier League and the Champions League every single year again. Sure, we've won a Europa League, we've won an FA Cup, we've won a League Cup, but they've been in the directions and visions of different managers that haven't really aligned with the vision of our club. That's the bottom line. That's where the disconnect has always been between fans and United under Van Gaal and Mourinho. But now we've got Solskjaer in charge and there's a hell of a buzz back. But he can't win the league with this squad. He can't win the league with that backroom set up. Things have to change. And I agree with pretty much everything that Gary had to say here. But let me know what you think about Gary Neville's comments down in the comments section below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, come on now, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, though, take it easy.